So would you store your data on DNA? Because you might be able to. Here's how. So computers store each letter or pixel of digital data in combinations of ones and zeros. To store that information on DNA, algorithms convert that digital code into combinations of the four letters that represent DNA's chemical bases, T, G, A, and C. Now each base is part of a nucleotide, which are the building blocks of DNA. And scientists use them to build DNA strands that store digital data instead of genetic information. The strands are archived in material like sealed vials, and when it's time to retrieve digital data from DNA, the strands are pulled from the archive, the chemical bases are read, and an algorithm converts the archived information back to ones and zeros, and then back into pixels and letters that we can read. Now you probably wouldn't use this method to store selfies or cat pictures. Storing information on DNA takes a really long time and it's expensive, but for long-term archiving needs, it could offset the environmental damage and energy demands that our current data storage system, the cloud, can't keep up with. We produce around 400 billion gigabytes of data per day. And to store all of that, millions of gigs would need to be stored in a warehouse-sized facility called a data center. So the possibility that we could fit all of it in a vial like this could be the difference between archiving our digital history or risk losing it forever. So would you store your data on DNA?